What is up guys? Welcome to another video. Today is going to be a fun one because I'm going to show you how to quickly prepare some good tasting meals that are not boring, that are just enjoyable to eat, you know? You don't have to eat dry chicken, rice and broccoli five times a day to actually see some progress, you know? So today I'm going to show you what I like to eat, some of my favorite meals. And I just wanted to do this because I always get the question, bro, how do you even have time to cook your meals? Because I always tell people that I like to have my meals fresh. I don't really like to do meal prep and eat out of Tupperware. So I'm going to show you how I prepare my meals fresh that are still quick, you know, so I don't have to spend hours in the kitchen because I also have other stuff to do. So yeah, that is the plan for today. First I have to obviously pick up some things from the grocery store because you don't really have anything at all. Chicken, some veggies. All right, so the plan for today is to start with the meal that is gonna take the longest to cook. So I'm gonna put it on the heat and in the meantime, I'm gonna prepare some of the other meals because some of the other meals literally take like one or two minutes max. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna try to make everything in about like 15, maybe maximum 20 minutes. I just wanted to show you that there's really no excuse to not eat healthy. Like I don't wanna hear yo man, I don't have time to eat healthy or I don't have time to cook and that's why I'm actually not seeing any progress, you know, because that's basically what you're saying. So I just want to show you that you don't need a lot of time in the kitchen to actually make some healthy, good tasting meals. So that is the plan for today. Let's prepare everything and then get to cooking. All right, I got my timer here. Only thing I did was unpack these and wash them real quick. That's all I did. Now we're gonna start the timer and see how quick we can make those meals. Let's go. There we go. So first, we're gonna turn on the heat on this. Then we're gonna cut up the veggies. Then we need a little bit of oil in the pan, like that. Onions go in. Throw those in too. A little bit of zucchini. Like that. Then some tomatoes. All right, so for the spice, I'm gonna keep it very simple. I have one of these blocks that you can make chicken stock with. So I'm gonna put that in, like that. Then some salt, some pepper. Like that. Now, we're gonna add a little bit of this Tomato paste. Yeah. Now, the orzo pasta. It looks like rice, but it's actually a pasta. And now, boiling water. All right, so that was the meal that took the longest actually, because now this has to cook, and then when it's done, it's done. Now I'm also gonna make some chicken thighs. I'm just gonna make these in the air fryer, so okay. grab the air fryer, throw these in. Some salt. And some pepper. Throw these in. 190, this is just 12 minutes. All right, so that took six minutes. 
six minutes, 30 seconds. So I'm gonna clean this up. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna make the other meals. So we still got like chill, 12, 30 minutes to prepare the rest. All right, here we are with a little voiceover because somehow I managed to mess up the audio from this clip. Don't worry, the audio will be normal again in a minute. So here we are with the next meal. We have some mice pudding. First, we go in with like 100 grams, I would say, then pour some boiling water on top of it and let that sit on the side for a couple of minutes because the mice pudding has to soak up all the water. Then we obviously had to give this pot a little stir because we don't want it to burn. And now we're gonna go on to the next meal, which is a tuna wrap. I don't know why I was struggling this much opening this package. I mean, I've been lifting all those weights for years and for what? But okay, here we are. One wrap, then we're gonna go in with some tuna and olive oil. I go for the one in olive oil because it has more calories and I also like the taste more, but you can obviously get the one in water. Spread some light cheese on top, then go in with the tuna and on top of that, a handful of salad of choice. You can also go in with some cucumber, tomatoes, whatever you want, but I just went for this pre-packaged salad. Then top it off with some light Yazan sauce. This is a honey mustard sauce that has no calories, no sugar, and it tastes absolutely amazing. Put that to the side. Now we can finish the mice pudding. As you see, it's soaked up all of the water. Now we go in with two scoops of protein. Give that a little mix. As you can see, the texture is nice and smooth. Now go in with some frozen berries. They don't have to be frozen. You can also go in with fresh fruits if you like. Then top it off with some nut butter. I like to go for cashew butter, but you can also use peanut butter. And that's it for the next meal. All right, so we're 13 minutes in. We have two meals completely done already. We have this meal that is still cooking. So we just need one more big meal. And that's pretty much it. Then we're done. So for the last meal, we're gonna keep it very simple. I usually have this before bed. We're gonna have some high protein yogurt doesn't really have any fats. You can also get the one with some extra fat for extra calories, but I just like the base of this one. So what we're gonna do is just go for half of this top. Yeah, half like that. Spread that out a little bit. Then I'll just get a little bit of granola and sprinkle that on top. Then we're gonna go in with the berries again, the frozen ones, a little bit. Again, a little bit of nut butter because I need the calories. And top that off with a little bit of honey. Oh yeah, that is nice. All right, so that is one, two, three meals done. Four meal is almost done. And I usually have like four big meals and just some snacks in between. For example, I would go for Something like a designer bar, you know, like a protein bar. 90 minutes, so we have one more minute to finish all of this. I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna put some of this in. Grab one of your chicken thighs. Or maybe two. And that's done. 19 minutes and 39 seconds. So not even 20 minutes to prepare all of these meals. And the best thing is, this is just one plate. Look at that pot. Look how much is left. So you can easily eat with an entire family from this pan. Just make some more chicken and then your entire family has some food. So you're not thinking just about yourself, you know? All right, so here we got all the meals done. As you saw in less than 20 minutes. Meals for the entire day. And as I said, 
like look how much is left of this meal so you can literally feed your entire family from this meal just make some more chicken then you're good to go but yeah this is what a day of eating for me would look like. Now, I personally don't track calories anymore because I burn a lot of calories and my genetics are that I stay pretty lean with whatever I eat because I move a lot. I actually switch to a hybrid lifestyle, which makes me burn even more calories. So I don't really track any calories at the moment. I just eat and if I would have to guess, this day of eating would be about like 3000 calories, you know, because if I eat less, then I lose too much weight. All right, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you do so, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you wanna see next. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.